Welcome to the room that nobody uses in my house. <laughs> Which actually makes us like it a little bit more. Not everybody uses a dining room, not everybody needs them, but Whitney and I build so much furniture. One of our favorites is dining tables and we love having a dining room that we can decorate. And actually when I built my house, that was like one of my like non-negotiables. I had to have a formal dining room. We don't use it very often, but it's always pretty and I always redecorate it. It's an so. occupational hazard, I think. It's like the one room in my house where I can feel like, okay, I got my stuff together yeah. because my dining room's clean. <laughs> in one room. Yeah, in one room. <laughs> so we're in Ashley's dining room today and we're just gonna walk you through it really quick, guys, and show you the stuff we've uh, Ashley has built. I can't really take credit for some of this. Some the of wall it she can, can, but. Yeah, we'll start with the wall. So we've got a YouTube video on this herringbone wall. It's reclaimed wood that we got from Reclaimed Design Works. Mm -hmm. And Whitney came and helped me knock this wall out in about four hours. We actually knocked it up. We didn't knock it out, but fair. That's a good point. <laughs> and then Ash just built this monstrosity right here. We actually, um, at the store we had gone to, we saw this vintage rack that they were using to hold old lumber. It was like ladders that were put mm -hmm. together, and then they had like trusses yeah. that went between them it was to so hold cool. the shelves. And she said, I'm going to build something like that. So that's where this guy came along. How much did this one cost to build? This was about $100, I think, in lumber. Yeah. I just built three ladders and then I put two by 12s across them. I'm guessing it's eight feet tall? It's eight feet ish. tall and it's eight feet wide. And surprisingly enough, I had enough white dishes to fill the entire thing. I didn't have to buy one thing. <laughs> I don't know what that says. And where do we get most of our white dishes? Everybody always asks yep. us where we find our white dishes. and Home Goods is a huge. Is that Home Goods on the bottom of it? I'm, I'm just guessing there's probably Home Goods stickers on the bottom but of a lot of the them. The reason why we do Home Goods, I think this one's probably Home Goods. No, it doesn't have a sticker. It's because like you can get one of these platters for about ten to fifteen dollars. Yeah, they're always like twelve ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. And they're just so pretty. Um, and then World Market is another place that we get a bunch of white stuff from. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, what else? Your jars are Pottery Barn. Jars are these Pottery Barn. These little bags here are Pottery Barn. Right? Yeah. No, those are home goods. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my ones bad. in my kitchen are from Pottery Barn. Okay, These gotcha. are home goods and they're actually kind of ugly on the front. So I just turn them around. Backwards, you know? There's, your, there's your tip right there. more modern. Uh, this is Ikea. Uh, everybody asks about this serving tray up here. That's from Sam's. Whitney found it at Sam's and got us both one. That's how we shop. <laughs> one for Two you? of everything. One for me. <laughs> yes. um, and then these are my favorite. These jugs up here, we used them at Whitney's baby shower. Actually, every bit of this stuff was used at Whitney's baby shower. Mm -hmm. But those two jugs up there are from Pottery Barn, and they are acrylic jugs. They can't break. And then I got white uh, pedestals from Pottery Barn. But the jugs were like $35. Yeah, and it's great because most of those, you can find those. I mean, they're so hot right now. Yeah. I feel like you can find them anywhere. But most of them are glass, and most of them leak. Yeah. I feel like we've taken back like two or three yeah. from different stores. I took one from Pottery Barn back because it was leaking and it was a glass one. These mm -hmm. didn't leak. So they're acrylic, so they look like glass, but they're not. Kid proof, wonderful. They're great for outdoors too, so if you entertain outdoors, they're awesome for that. And then this is a sh this sugar mold, right? Sugar mold. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. So this is from our friends. They found it for us in. It's actually our camera guy. Yeah, our camera guy <laughs> and his wife, our Thanks, producers. <laughs> they found us this sugar mold, and then when you found these cute little succulent, succulents. So say it again. Succulents. <laughs> found these cute little succulents to go inside of them, but I love this piece. Yes, and the succulents were Michael's and I love how Ashley down at the bottom she used like a basket to just put white dishes in. Again, that's just like such a fun way to add texture. Yeah. With the, it's not just white glass, but you've put it in something and given it a little bit of texture. And then I put something like all my cake stands that I have, I layer them with stuff so that it's not just a flat cake stand. I'll mm -hmm. either put another cake stand on top of it or I'll put some dishes on it. Like this dish right here, this is our Mimi who passed away. Two, three years ago. Yeah, this years is ago. her. We all got it. All the sisters got a tea set of hers um, from her china, and so I keep that. Little known right fact, there. though, in all of our open concept episodes for HGTV, we staged um, part. We used that dish, a uh, dish set, and eat in one room of yeah. each of the houses. I think they call that an Easter egg. There you go. That's our Easter egg. I think. So now you know. It's so you can go and look for but it. But I think it's a secret if it's an Easter egg, isn't it? Yeah, but you have to find it. I think. Okay. So you can go. Well, you can't know. go look for it you either. Can't. <laughs> So only only we get to know. Steve, there's a wall there. So <laughs> so moving on. Um, oh, and then oh, I know people are gonna ask if this thing's gonna tip over from kids climbing it. And I actually drilled like four and a half inch wood screws from there's cleats behind here that are keeping this piece together. And I drilled into the studs behind the wall. And there's like probably 50 screws. So holding it's it. actually technically a ladder that's technically attached to the wall. And so. it also doubles as a jungle gym. Yes. So there you go. And it's framing lumber, so you could build a house with it. Right. So we're good. It's all stable. 
Let's talk about the table. Okay, let's talk about the table. I have not shared plans for this table yet. They're coming soon. I, cannot. I have. I haven't oh, even done the plans that. for it okay. yet. Okay. So, um, but I wanted a more narrow, my, my dining room's really narrow and I wanted a more narrow dining table. So for you guys that are short on dining space, this might be a good table for you. Um, and the, the feature of this is that we've done some wood corbels on each end and then we've also added some metal corbels for some texture. Just and another feature is the awesome chairs. So these are a great find that Ashley made at Target. My favorite thing about them is that they're solid metal. So they have that really cool like antique look of a, of a wood chair. Yeah. But they're in solid metal so the and kids they, can't destroy them. And they were $35 each and they were actually outdoor ta outdoor chairs. And mm -hmm. I got them because my puppy chewed through my wood chairs completely. We love the dog. So I outsmarted him. Yeah. Got metal. Now it's going to hurt his teeth. Yep. So these are great. I loved them so much. I actually went and purchased them for my outdoor table. So thanks for and that And you bought tip. the bench. There's a double bench yes. and she got my that for entryway. her entryway. Thank you Target. So plans coming for this table soon. Uh -huh. We've got the bench that's a matching bench. I only did one bench because I like the look of one bench and then two chairs, but I like to put the two chairs on the wall side so that it kind of, everything grows up into the wall. Into the massive unit behind me. It's like, oh. yeah. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, the centerpiece is a really cool bread bowl, also from our amazing also producers. Producers, friends. Lauren and Steven, awesome. And those are those same Barcelona jars, mm -hmm. a world market. Um, they have for three the different shapes. So I've got mm -hmm. one or two in other rooms in my house that are like shorter and rounder, and then they've got these other two shapes. They're shorter and rounder like me. These are taller <laughs> and slender like Ashley. And then these stems are from world market. We get asked about that all the time. They're our favorite because they look like real stems from nature. Yeah. And the curtains are a Pottery Barn find. Ash and I always, we both have tall ceilings. That's kind of a thing here in Texas. And Finding long curtains are, it's its a bit it's of a hard. challenge here. So Pottery Barn has them at a decent price. I think these were 40, <coughs> I paid $45. I got them on sale, free shipping, 20% off. They were about $45 a panel for 108 inches. Yeah, rug. Uh, the rug is from Rugs USA. I love this rug. It's a vintage inspired, what are they called? Like vintage? No, I don't know. It's a vintage rug, but it's not vintage. It's yeah. faux vintage. Yes. But it's supposed to look distressed. <laughs> I love it. We're all about buying the cheap stuff yeah. that's faux. That faux. looks like it costs well, a lot of money. Well, my dogs have chewed the corners of it up. It's faux real cheap. So, I, and I love it so much that I'm going to buy the exact same rug when he stops chewing, chewing on things. It. But the places he's chewed, it's vintage anyway and it's supposed to look worn. So, it kind of, it works. And while we're here, flooring, because I know you're going to get out. Yes, yeah, this flooring is actually 24 hour spill proof laminate flooring. It looks like hardwood. It's got a beautiful gray color. It matches the briar smoke stain that we love so much. But you can spill, I, I, I use this because we have a pool, I wanted to put it in my kitchen and it's got a 24 hour spill proof technology so if you spill something, if it gets wet, you've got 24 hours before it can cause any harm to the flooring. It's like a mom's best friend. It really is. And Did it's laminate so it's like super durable, it's great for pets. Did you talk about your wall color? Wall color is, um, it's by Valspar and they've changed the name of it but I hunted it down and figured out the new name and it's called Soft Stones with an S at the end. If you look for soft stone, it's like an ugly uh, orangey color. Oh. So it's got to have an S on the end. Soft stones. Soft stones by Valspar. And the trim is ivory lace by Valspar also. Chandelier we get asked about all the time. That's Ballard Designs. Yep. I think it was about $300 maybe. Oh, it remember. was inexpensive for a chandelier. Oh, and then we've got mirror right here. This is from At Home. It's cute. It's like metal and wood mixed together. One of our favorite stores. Cute little metal baskets. All we use those on yeah, that open was from one of the shows, the open concept shows. Mm -hmm. and we're like, oh, we need those too. Uh, so these are from World Market, and the cute little stems inside are Hobby Lobby, yep. of course, like we get all of our other and stems. We got the stems summer. and put them inside these styrofoam blocks that we bought from Hobby Lobby, mm -hmm. and then we just wrapped burlap around them and stuffed them inside. And the key to a great dining room is to never use it, and that way it always stays clean, guys. So everybody asks, how do you keep your dining table clean? And we just say, we don't feed use them in it. the kitchen at they the eat bar. In the kitchen. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. We'll be back with more room tours, and talk to you later. Bye.